it could end up being a very unfunny April Fool's Day if the largest cyber attack in history comes our way. It's a dangerous computer worm called Configa. When you look at its code, there's a little countdown in there that's supposed to go off on Wednesday, April 1st, when it seems some kind of master computer may gain control of every infected machine. We don't know exactly what it'll do, but it's unlikely to be much fun. Configa started spreading last year, may have infected up to 10 million computers already. Online detectives are trying to stop whatever might happen on April Fool's Day, but the worm keeps updating itself to avoid being tracked. Um, to tell us if we're all going to be doomed or not, I'm joined via Skype by the editor-in-chief of PCMag.com, Lance Yulinoff. Lance, what is this worm all about? <laughs> it's it's all you know I wish we knew what it's all about uh, it's it's a worm that doesn't seem to have a direct purpose right now but um, it was spread in a bunch of different ways over networks and over USB keys uh, sort of got into systems that way there have been three versions a B uh, and now C the thing about uh, computer malware spyware even viruses is that these days they're really quiet until they want to do something. The problem is we just don't know what it's going to do. Any guesses? <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, a, a coordinated attack, meaning uh, to bring down some major sites, major search engines. Uh, if you have uh, 12 million or more PCs that can contact uh, untold number of, of created domains, domains that Config have created on its own, and you direct them all to say, hit Amazon, eBay, Google, and, and countless other sites. That's called a denial of service attack, and that would bring down those websites. But there's another possibility that it could flood the internet with all of these calls and bring down huge parts of the internet. If people want to avoid this, what, what, what steps can we take? What precautions? You need to look at your system. You need to really verify that you are getting all the necessary updates. If you are not running Windows Update at all, turn it on. If you don't have anti, you know, security software, install it. And by the way, virus software is not enough. You need a comprehensive security suite. Turn off auto run on USB keys, meaning that when you put a USB key into a computer, immediately you see a little pop-up window. You can actually turn that off. So we have uh, some directions at PCMag.com that will show you how to do that. Or you can go to Panda Security, which has a free utility that will help you turn it off as well. Okay, thanks a lot for your time, Lance. Very helpful. It's a pleasure.